Hello, I'm Alex. My name is Rifat Rabbi Alex. I am a student at the Department of Peace and Conflict Studies at the University of Dhaka. My class roll number is 29 and I am a student of the 10th batch. Anyways, I'm gonna get straight to it. We have a course named Human Rights in a Changing World where we were given an assignment to go to a human rights organization in Bangladesh and study their work. Uh, and specially focus on one of their objectives. The organization I picked was uh, Bangladesh Mohila Parishad. The head office is situated in Shekhan Bagicha. Um, I went there, I visited uh, the head office uh, three times actually, and also a branch. Uh, I went there to take uh, a few interviews of uh, a few of the official members, which I had the opportunity to do. Um, Three of the official official members I interviewed, there were Mr. Ramlal uh, Raha, who is a senior advocate there, uh, Ms. Uh, Masuda Begum, who is a uh, assistant general secretary of the organization, and uh, Ms. Maksuda Akhtarlai, she is the director of legal aid and law of the organization. So anyways, I'm gonna get uh, straight to the details of this organization. This organization was founded in 1970 by the poet Sophia Kamal, who was a successor of uh, Begum Rukia. Um, and, and since then, this organization has been a very active organization in the country. They have been working for 45 years. Uh, it was founded in 4th of July. Uh, this year, they celebrated their 46th Foundation Day. The current president of this organization is Ms. Aisha Khanum, and the vice president is Nahar Ahmed. Malik Abano is the General Secretary. Um, the Joint General Secretary is Raki Dash, and the Assistant General Secretary is Advocate Masoud Daragana Begum, whom I interviewed. So anyways, this organization uh, has a few features. Um, I'm gonna mention the features, I'm gonna mention those in the video, you can see them. This organization is a national mass women's organization. Uh, they are a voluntary organization, they are action oriented, they are membership based, they are non-petition and uh, lastly they are right based organization. This organization uh, runs on a few principles which are a written constitution of the organization, voluntarism, commitment, transparency and accountability, non-petition, participatory approach, dynamism, equality, networking and sustainability. Uh, it has a few objectives as well. Uh, I'm gonna mention the objectives also in there in the video. Uh, they wish to resist violence against women, which they have been doing uh, since a very long time. Uh, they want to promote political participation of women. Uh, they want to mainstream women in development and politics. Uh, they want to establish themselves as a lobby and advocacy agent, which they have. Uh, they wish to ensure sustainability of the organization, establish equity-based society for men and women. Now, the work that this organization does is actually distributed in 12 different units. I'm gonna mention the units in the video as well. Uh, those units are organization, training, research and library, movement, legal aid, Rokia Shadan Publication International, health, environment, uh, publicity and mass media, social welfare, education and culture. So anyways, this organization has uh, 17 different uh, major activities and this is where my work begins. I was to study their uh, policy advocacy. Now, they have 17 major activities as I mentioned and six of them are related to policy, uh, uh, policy advocacy which are uh, policy intervention for mainstreaming women in national development process, policy intervention for equal and effective Ensuring of power by women uh, for governing the state, advocacy for one third number of res reserved seats for women in the parliament and introduce direct election, advocacy and lobby to create enable environment for political empowerment and increase uh, women's participation in politics, um, advocacy for law reform and uniform family code, policy intervention for equal legal status and rights in personal and public sphere. So these were their major uh, activities regarding policy advocacy. Now they have been uh, very successful in terms of policy advocacy in 1976 or 77. This organization uh, organized a mass signature campaign against the dowry system, which resulted in a law 
uh, enacted by the government banning the diary in 1980. Two major um, ordinances were also passed in 1983 and 85 because of the movement of this organization, uh, which were the Ordinance of Violence Against Women and Family Code Ordinance of 1985. So they have actually been very successful in terms of policy advocacy and they are a very authentic organization. Many other different social organizations, non-governmental organizations work with them and they mostly work with the government. They work for the government and for the betterment of the people, of course, for the society. They, uh, in terms of policy advocacy, what they do is they draft laws or acts uh, they go to the government and help the government pass them as laws, acts or ordinances and they also study the current laws, the, the ones that are in action to see if there is any amendment required, if there is they, they help the government to uh, make amendments to those, to those laws uh, so anyways, there are uh, a few other policy advocacies they have done. They have done a lot of them, but I'm going to mention uh, particularly a few, which are women and child, persecution prevention law, domestic law, citizenship law, sexual harassment and persecution prevention policies, uh, sexual, sexual harassment and uh, persecution prevention act of 2010, deoxyribonucleic acid act of 2010, domestic violence prevention act, human trafficking prevention ordinance of 2011, uh, Women and Child Repression Act of 2003 uh, and Hindu Marriage Law, etc. They have done actually a lot of work. They gave, they provided me a book which was about this thick on policy advocacy, the, all the advocacies they have done. That book had the record. Uh, so anyways, I had to keep this video short. I'm sorry for that. But if you wish to know more about this organization and its activities, you can visit its website where I found all the information and from the books they publish. The website is moilaparishad.org. You are welcome to visit it. And I had a great time in the, working on this organization. Thank you. Thank you for watching the presentation, this video.